Hello everybody, this is Mark Wilbur at Tushua.com and this video is not a phonics video like most of the ones in this stream. Uh, I did used to be an English teacher and I ran an English teaching school in Taiwan and I am really interested in, in teaching people English and English phonics and uh, spelling patterns and you know all, all kinds of stuff like that. But now I'm doing my own language learning challenge. I have a new challenge, which is to learn Spanish. In the past, I've learned uh, at least bits of a lot of languages, but I, I would say I've learned two languages pretty fluently, Japanese when I was in college, and I've forgotten a good amount of that. But I can, you know, I can still speak. And uh, Mandarin when I was in Taiwan, uh, that is, is still in pretty good shape because I spent uh, a huge chunk of my 20s in Taiwan and uh, even though I don't I don't really speak Chinese uh, much at all now I do you know I, I watch the occasional uh, you know Chinese uh, music video and I I, uh, I read Yahoo News Taiwan sometimes um, have my, my Facebook set in Chinese until until really recently so um, anyway, uh, my Spanish level is really poor. I didn't take Spanish in high school or college or anything. And uh, I, I did spend about, I think about three weeks in Guatemala right after college before I went to, uh, before I went to Taiwan. I was in uh, this, this totally uh, um, kind of like, like hippie center uh, called... Uh, Oh, San Marcos, I think it is. It was near Pana Shell, uh, this beautiful lake called El, El Lago de Atitlan. It uh, has three volcanoes around it, and the area is just like full of like yoga classes and Reiki specialists and crystal healers and stuff. Um, it was a really good trip, uh, and I learned learned a bit of Spanish, but uh, that was that was a long time ago. And at this point, uh, I've been I've been studying a bit on and off just uh, just the past few months, um, but not not that structured until just the last uh, couple weeks. Actually, um, I would say I know about five hundred words, maybe a thousand words. A lot of them are Mexican foods or or uh, words that are, have kind of like made it into American pop culture or movies. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a low level. Um, phonics wise should be okay. There aren't, there aren't thousands of characters to learn. Uh, so I, I, I see it as, as a, a very doable challenge. The, I, I would say my goal, I'm not sure what my goal is. I, I want to, I guess there, there are just a lot of Spanish speakers. I want to I want to speak well enough. I can, I can, you know, go on vacation to a Spanish-speaking place and talk with people. I had some uh, coworkers when I was at Groupon that were, that were uh, Chileans, and it'd be cool to talk to them in Spanish next time. Um, yeah, but it's it's not you know it's not something that'll directly help my career. Chinese isn't directly helping my career right now, but it is you know it's good for the social life. It's good for just seeing a bigger bigger chunk of the world and and uh, connecting with more of humanity so that's that's what I'm uh, uh, and that's that's my goal it's not very well defined but so be it um, okay so I've, I've got a lot of experience learning languages uh, I'm gonna basically use all the same stuff that worked for me with uh, teaching English and with learning Chinese and learning Japanese and hopefully this will be a little less painful than than my previous learning experiences. Uh, the only downside is I don't have a lot of time. Uh, I'm, I'm a busy uh, startup engineer in uh, like a San Francisco Bay Area tech company, and it's it's uh, it's not the same as, as when I was in Taiwan and, and studying, uh, say, 20 hours a week or something. Um, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to focus on phonics at the very beginning, um, like learning how to distinguish between each of the sounds in the language. I don't think that's going to be too bad with Spanish. Um, 
getting to where I can make all the sounds that might that might take a long time but I think you know the more input the more the more I use it the better it'll get as long as as long as I'm making some effort in that direction um, I'm using spaced repetition systems um, if you don't know what those are I've got another video that explains exactly that uh, it's only about two minutes long I'll, I'll put a link here um, they're, they're really useful for certain things with languages they're not I don't think they're an end-all solution a lot of people try to learn language just through spaced repetition I don't I don't like that but uh, um, basically it's it's just a, an efficient flashcard system so I'm doing spaced repetition with two decks one deck is all audio and it describes a word like it gives a, a definition of a Spanish word in Spanish uh, so I, I get a little bit of audio input um, slower though I mean it's harder to understand and sometimes I have to look up words in the definition uh, the other deck is just text single words and they're they're the 5,000 most commonly used Spanish words uh, that deck is very easy for me um, I, I get you know most of my reviews right and I, I do a lot more words um, I'm spending about two hours on the audio deck excuse me about two hours on the audio deck each week and about one hour a week on the um, just the simple written flashcard deck and I don't want to go over three hours a week because uh, I, I think I can really expect about 10 hours a week reliably that I can spend on Spanish. Uh, I'm also doing a program called Michelle Thomas, which I have not done for other languages. One of my friends recommended it to me. I'll, I'll definitely give updates in future videos what I think about it. Uh, I'm doing uh, um, some textbooks I bought on Amazon called Living Language. Came in this box. It was like $30 and it came with nine CDs, which kind of sucked because uh, I have an iMac and uh, there's no CD drive for that. I had to like dig out this old laptop from years ago. I don't even know how old the thing is. I, like, I literally considered selling it for $30 last year and I'm now glad that I didn't. Um, I got the CDs copied uh, from that to a memory stick and then moved to my, my uh, main computer. Uh, however, I also got an introductory level textbook, intermediate one, an advanced one, and a blank notebook. Blank notebook I'm not going to use because I have uh, uh, English notebooks I brought back from Asia. They're like uh, these these super cheap notebooks they sell at uh, 7-Elevens that have like horribly strangely uh, uh, phrased English on them and make me smile so I uh, don't need this one. Still 30 bucks for all of this seems like an awesome deal. Um, comments and the reviews were good on Amazon. I can't really say too much now because I've just started. Um, hopefully, hopefully that goes well. Uh, once, once I'm at a level where I can do more of it, I'll do extensive reading. Uh, I, I think extensive reading is one of the. Th it, it should be a cornerstone of language learning. It was, it was definitely one of the things that uh, helped the students at the English teaching school I, I, I was running in Taiwan do well. Um, yeah, so extensive reading. Then once I've I've got a bigger base, then uh, hopefully TV shows. So oh yeah, and I'm doing one tutoring lesson per week. I have a, a tutor from Argentina, and uh, she teaches me over the internet. And it's it's only one hour per week, but it's it's definitely really helpful. Uh, the goal of a language, after all, is to communicate with humans, and it's. It's, uh, it's good to be doing that from the start. And also, like, she would give me feedback that, uh, um, that like, just random language speakers would not in, in normal situations because, uh, you know, if, if someone, say someone who's learning English comes up to me and, and says uh, uh, how to go to train station, 
I'm not going to say, oh, wait, 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 that should be, how can I go to the train station, or, or how, or where is the train station? Um, I, I would just understand, I'd be like, oh, the train station, it's over there, and, and they might, you know, they, they might use their, their mistaken grammatical construction regularly, and, uh, um, you know, not, not realize uh, anything was off for a long time. So anyway, space repetition, max three hours a week. Uh, I'm doing Michelle Thomas, basically when I have time, when I feel like it. Uh, living language, textbooks. Uh, I'm going to go for also three hours a week, maybe more if I have time. And once I'm at what I consider a level where I can, and also like once I've found some graded readers that are the right level, then I'll be doing extensive reading uh, as much as I can for like the rest of my language learning time until I can start understanding uh, TV or radio. So that's the plan. Uh, I know you found my YouTube channel bomb, so if you're watching this, hi, <laughs> and. Uh, um, yeah, like there'll probably be a lot of Spanish in the channel later. So um, thanks for watching, everybody. And I will let you know how the language learning challenge goes.